This video illustrates how you work with uh, plugins for Sitecore Rocks. Within the Sitecore uh, toolbar, you'll have uh, plugins where you can see which plugins has already been installed on this, this specific Visual Studio.net, and also a plugin repository where you can see available plugins for this Visual Studio.net. So right now, going to the plugin repository. The idea is that we can have a number of repositories. For this demo I have a local installation. Obviously we'll, Sitecore will provide an official website. Uh, I can, with some of these plugins, I can download the source code. Uh, some of these would be private uh, installations where I can download the plugin only. So let us assume that I would want to install the plugin locally on my Visual Studio.net. I do that by clicking install. It's immediately installed and it also informs me that I would need to update components on each site. The idea is that each plugin which is installed locally would need to communicate to the web server. So in order to install that specific plugin on the local server, <coughs> I would use update server components it would tell me that I would need to copy the rocks server serialization component to the server I already have cycle rocks running on the server itself so by clicking update I'd need to move it to the specific server I do that and after that it restarts After restart, I'll see that uh, all, serv all the services has been updated on the server, and I can now start using serialization and deserialization directly from the content structure in the Sitecore Explorer in Visual Studio.net. <clears throat> At any time, if I do not wish to disable serialization, I can do so by a single click and this would remove the options of serializing again. So this shows me the installed plugins and I can disable them and enable them immediately. <coughs>